Welcome back to Wise Man Company, everybody. I'm Ben. Today we're gonna be covering the AR pistol, the AR-15 that I use at the Tactical Games. This is a ballistic advantage gun. This was sent to me. Uh, they're a sponsor of mine for the Tactical Games. But long before that ever happened, I've been using ballistic advantage barrels. I'm a big fan of their barrels. I've always had really great results. Their price point is usually very competitive to the rest of the market. And believe it or not, they actually provide a lot of barrels for other companies out there. Ballistic Advantage is a sister company of Aero Precision, so the, a lot of the parts you're gonna see on this gun today are gonna look very similar to Aero parts, and that's because they pretty much are Aero parts. Now, Ballistic provides all the barrels to Aero Precision, and Aero Precision provides a lot of components to Ballistic Advantage. Ballistic Advantage is based out of Florida, and Aero Precision is based on the West Coast. This little gun has run great for me at the Tactical Games. I took third in the Elite Brown. Division. Accuracy is really important at the Tactical Games because every missed shot is an added 10 seconds to your time. So you can't outrun that, outlift that. It's really important that you make your hits. And targets were anywhere from 25 yards out to 250 yards. And the conditions that you're shooting in aren't always ideal either. It's sandy, it's muddy. You're down in the ground crawling around, so all sorts of junk and crap can get into your AR while you're moving. It just needs to be reliable. It just needs to work is what I'm getting at because there are no do-overs <laughs> and you don't want to drop shots. Every hit counts. This gun was great. Loved it and it was accurate. Did everything I needed to do. Let's get into some of the components of this build. This is a pistol. It's an SBA-3. It's their tan one. I have a Lunar Concepts split fix on here that fix, fixes the split at the back of the brace. I have a Lunar Concepts contour sling. Sling is very important on a long gun, in my opinion. Uh, you need to be able to go hands-free, run, climb, jump, all that sort of thing. So you need to be able to sling the gun. Moving forward, we do have the Ballistic Advantage receiver set. I am a huge fan of these uppers and lowers. They fit together really nicely, good clean lines. You have the ability to take out some of the play between the upper and lower. So it's a nice tight fitting gun. They just did a really nice job with these uppers and lowers. In the lower, you're gonna see a beveled magwell. Makes reloads a little bit easier. And the trigger guard is skeletonized. Take a little bit of weight out of there. Not a ton, but every little bit counts. The grip, like all my guns, I prefer a more vertical grip on my pistol grip. And this is a BCM. This is their Mod 3 grip. And you can get these for around 17 bucks. Inside the lower receiver, I have a Velocity Trigger. This is their three pound traditional trigger. And uh, that aids in the long shots. I mean, when you're breathing really hard and you're tired, you don't want to have a big old gritty mil spec trigger. So a nice, clean, light trigger is going to help you make those distance shots. I have a Radian Ambi Raptor charging handle in here. These have been around for a while. They need no introduction. This is like their medium latch one. Inside the upper, I have a nickel boron bolt carrier group from Ballistic Advantage. Makes cleaning and maintenance a little easier. Super slick. As you can see, it's a, little, it's a little dirty, but you can wipe these down very quickly. Nothing really sticks to them for the most part if you do your job, keep it lubricated. Backup irons on here, I have a set of Troys. And believe it or not, Tactical Games, you may or may not use your backup irons. They may say, hey, you're, you can't use, turn on your optic for this stage. If your irons are zero, great. If they're not, you're screwed. So good set of backup irons, it's important. I'm glad they force you to use things like that because a lot of people take backup iron for granted and if you do need them, they need to work. As we move forward, we have their rail. This is a very lightweight rail and it's an aero precision rail. There is no top picatinny in this middle section that takes out a lot of weight. Tons of material taken out of this rail. It is M-lock, as you can see here. They do have the M-lock slots on here. Uh, so it takes a lot of weight out of the gun, this rail does. And that's important because at the games, you're, you're already weight bogged down with plate carrier, ammo, handgun, all that sort of thing. So if you can shave a few ounces here and there, it's gonna help in the long run. Uh, I do have a vertical grip on here and this is a pistol. Oh my gosh. And if you're gonna freak out about it, go research the rules on that and you might not be so freaked out. All right. So I got a vertical grip on here. Deal with it. Now, 
to the most important part of this whole gun is the barrel, the ballistic advantage 10.3 inch barrel that's in here, a very accurate barrel. It is the government profile barrel. Now, ballistic advantage, you can get a variety of other profiles out there. They have Hansons, lightweight versions, all sorts of things. I just wanted a traditional government profile 10.3 inch barrel. This is a very accurate barrel for what it is. I mean, I'm shooting surplus ammo out of it and I'm achieving about one and a half inches at 100 yards and I'm not the best bench rest shooter in the world either. So that's good enough for the government work that I got to do. Love Ballistic Advantage barrels. If you're trying to do a new build or you're in the process of a new build, definitely check out Ballistic Advantage barrels. Again, they're priced very competitively with the rest of the market. And at the end, I have a Silencer Co. Flash Hider. This is a half by 28 thread pitch. And uh, I have this Flash Hider on here. You have to use a Flash Hider at Tactical Games because this cuties to my Omega can. So if I want to run a can when I'm not at the games, pop it on here and I'm good to go. On top here, this is a combo that I've been playing with recently. This is a hollow sun with an ACSS reticle inside. And back here is the primary arms magnifier. You can't run a magnifier at the tactical games, uh, so I'll just pop this off when the time comes. But I am liking this combo right here. I'm a big fan of hollow suns for the money. And of course, I like the ACSS reticle. I've done a couple of reviews with optics that have that reticle. Just a big fan, it's simple, easy to use. This combo so far has been great. Um, and hopefully I will get you a full review on this setup in the future. But for right now, I am really, really liking it. And again, for the games, I'm probably only gonna be, only be able to run the hollow sun up here. Gotta take the magnifier off, but if I wanna train with it, I can just pop the magnifier off to the side, not use it, and use my hollow sun standalone on top like you see here. All right, guys, so that is my tactical games gun. This has been great, very easy to use, lightweight, no complaints about it. Again, I've been a big fan of Ballistic Advantage for a while, and uh, even though they might have sponsored me for the tactical games with this gun, I'm still a big believer in their products and the stuff they put out. The people that work there are great, have a great relationship with them. I think you're not gonna go wrong if you go with a Ballistic Advantage barrel, receiver set, full gun, whatever it might be. So for what it's worth, I'm a big fan. I like them a lot. Guys, if you like this video or if you had any other questions on this build in particular, leave them down in the comments below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. We're gonna keep cranking out the content on this channel as often as we can. can. Uh, recently, we've been a little tied up producing content for other folks in the industry, so you might see us on other channels like the Gun Collective and Guns.com. By all means, go support those guys. Check out their channels. Ton of great content over there. If you're interested in any Wise Men products or Lunar Concepts products, head over to our website, wisemencompany.com. There's gotta be something over there that's gonna work for you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.